So we're approaching the end of November, so everyone knows it is peak matrix season. So we're gonna find out the inverse of this matrix. It's not gonna be done in the same way that we deal with a three by three or a four by four. You should or may be familiar with the equation of finding out the inverse, which is one over the determinant, and then the oh, adjugate of A. So first, let's deal with the easy part, the determinant. So it's a two by two, so you multiply one and minus four, and you deduct it by two and three. So the determinant of a is going to be uh, one minus four minus three times two. So this is going to be minus 10. So we've got our determinant. Now, this is where it slightly differs. We're not going to be finding the matrix cofactors or transposing or swapping rows or doing row operations. Instead, with the two by two, we swap A and D and we change the signs of B and C. So if this matrix is A, B, C, D, the edge of A would be D, A minus B minus C. So let's do that. So edge of A would become minus four and one. So we swap those and then let's flip the signs here. Now we just plug everything into our cute little equation up there. It's very cute. Uh, so one over minus 10, that's the um, determinant that we found. And then we have our edge A. We now multiply this to everything in here. So you should get, you do one to the uh, minus 10th to each one individually. So you're gonna get minus, oh, not minus, four over 10, three over 10, two over 10, and minus one over 10. Obviously loads of things here can be simplified. So therefore we're gonna get, we're gonna switch up the brackets just for a little bit of a goof and a gaff. You're gonna get two over five, 3 over 10, 1 over 5, and minus 1 over 10. That's it. We've done the inverse.